All right, everybody, welcome back for part 13 of our Realm of Thrones Let's Play part fucking whatever walkthrough. We're holding the twins. The lions of House Lannister are surrounding our position. They've ridden past and through our land consistently. At the end of the last episode, we caught out multiple of their units and absolutely obliterated them. We're currently awaiting more men to join us. Here they are. And they have much larger stacks than this, but uh, they were clearly out of food. So we're going to need to buy a lot of food to properly make sure that this army is supplied and capable of holding the twins. As that is basically their sole purpose. They serve us, we hold the twins. Some of you might be like, hey, aren't you taking wheat from your own villages right now? And yes, I am. Because screw those guys. We need it more. They're very productive villagers anyway. They'll be fine. Alright. Now, someone mentioned to me in the comments that uh, a mix of food actually increases the amount of uh, manpower you have all up. I wasn't aware that's a thing. I was pretty sure that it only affected morale. But, I mean, our morale is currently at 100, which is pretty feckin' nice for an army this size. We're going to ransom off our prisoners. We're going to slaughter the sheep. So we've got meat. Where do we get stolen goods from? What? I have no clue what that is, but it's not worth much. It's worth one gold. Curious. Alright. Moving on. Next we'll move to Hag Hagsmire and pick up some cattle. We've still got 177 wounded men in this party. Which is fine. That can be that can be fixed. We'll get some butter. Cattle. We'll get everything we need. We have 350,000 gold. There is not much we can't afford to supply right now. Now, on account of we are at war with House Lannister, I'm expecting some form of Lannister army to be meeting us soon. But we're going to go hunting. Veterans of respect increased garrison size by 20. Militia has a 20% chance to spawn with more experienced troops. Increased morale from victories by 20%. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. Uh, increased morale from victories is very nice. Now we have almost got our full strength. Our full strength would more accurately be about 800 men, 810. But I'd say we're in a pretty good spot. Alrighty. Slowly making our way towards Benefort. There's a pirate hideout down here. We gained a level. You know, it might be the go that we just siege the castle of Benefort right here. What's his defenders like? Not enough. Siege the castle. Give us a ram. Towers. Come on, lads. Our ram's up. Leadership skills 160. Make sure as many of our men are upgraded as possible. More borrowed troops. I think our elite units should make this pretty breezy. We've got two more Starkhouse Guards, so we've got 28 Starkhouse Guards. Courier has arrived, uh, offering money to free that guy. No, we're not freeing anybody. Not until the war is over. If he escapes the dungeon, that's not on me. 
I blame Willem Lannister. You know, the guy who's currently helping us fight his uh, family. Uh, Auto-deploy our units. I, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> the auto-deploy doesn't appear to be working out so well right now. I think the archers should just move into lines up here. It's a nice castle, man. Um, our archers will move up, covering the center and the sides. Okay, no, they're just going to all deploy back there, whatever. Uh, first infantry division will be led by Wyman Manderley. Uh, archery division led by... Uh, Bran's got decent archery. Willis Manderley can lead this one. Bran can lead this one. Uh, random person number three can lead this one. Oh, no, Wendell Manderley has good bow skill. That works. And we'll put... We'll put uh, Maria Blackmont in charge of the other infantry position. Right, men. Do your duties for House Stark. And for the North. Now this is an epic army. Look at all these beautiful boys. You can definitely tell who our, man, who our men are. The beautiful Stark House Guard. With the Stark sigil flying above their heads. Some of those will be Brand's men, but the majority of them... ...will be ours. Alright, dismount. Everyone, fire on the ballista. We couldn't quite hit him. Not yet. Up a bit more. Well, I hit someone. Oh, 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 okay. I hit someone and they noticed that I was hitting them. Not good for me. Come on, man. Keep firing. I must move across the wall. To the tower, sorry. Not to the wall. Got a line of archers over here firing off shots. I'll move in with the Stark House Guard on the left and the Stark Soldiers, my men. We're marching through swamp, lads. That's it, archers. Use the tower for cover. I think our archers are shredding them to a point where they just can't defend the wall. We have so many archers that they're just getting absolutely destroyed up there. Covering the men to the left of me. That's it, men. Push it up. Their archers on the high ground have been dealt with. We're going to do a massive blitzkrieg through the rut, through the Lannister lines. We will crush Bannerfort and then try to make our run to Casterly Rock. Just as Rob Stark initially planned. We'll take the rock. That's it, man. Throw javies. Got him in the face. There's a couple Lannisters up here, but not enough. All right, man. Climb the tower. Come on.
Come on, boys. That's it, man. Take the wall. Their militia can't stop us. They lack heavy infantry. And without heavy infantry, there's no stopping us. Oh, their heavier men have finally arrived in the battlefield. Cut them down. A few of them that remained anyway. Our men have broken through on all areas of the battlefield. Excellent. How stark is victorious. Look at our men flood through the gates. The king in the north! Only 27 of our men died in total of the entire army. A couple wounded. Prosperity lost, party morale change. I'll show mercy because honestly, it's not our uh, land, so I don't really think. We'll vote for a new owner. Haddis Hornwood. Uh, I will abstain from this vote. I'm only here to capture land for the for the north. Unless it's a vote in my way, I don't really care. A courier wishes for peace from Dawn. That would be great. That means we can completely focus on the Westerlands. Not that the Dornish were pulling too much of our attention away anyway. Now, really hoping that we've gained the attention of the Lannisters up here. If we can force them to try and take Benefort and we can hold it, then we create a real problem for the enemy. With the crag over here. Can we manage to take a second castle right off the rip? 318 men inside. I feel like a greater achievement for us is marching up here and taking one of the real cities. Seven hundred and twenty six defenders inside the city of Casey. Our party cohesion is starting to break. We could increase it and take the next city. You know, we'll, we'll go to the crag, we'll set up uh, ladders, and we'll just go it that way, see if our cohesion can hold until then. We'll increase it by a small amount. Moat Kaelin is under siege. So once we take this, we'll head to, to Moat Kaelin. I'm not worrying about siege equipment this time, lads. We go in. Ladders will get us up there. Our archers will provide cover. Auto-deploy the men. Go. Everyone, run for the walls. Get to the ladders. Ride with me! Now! It's kind of hard for them to ride with me, I guess, when I'm this far ahead. But, if I can get this ladder up before anyone even gets to the wall to defend it... That will cause our men to rush forward much quicker. One ladder up. Two ladders up. Here comes our infantry. You ready, lads? Let's do this. I will lead the charge with me.
Oh god, oh god, yeah, problem, problem, problem. Come on, man, come on! Ah! Alright, we're down already. <laughs> we led the charge. Hopefully our sacrifice in this battle has inspired our men. Depending on how much they focus to one side of the field, we could take them on the other. Which I feel like is what's happening. The enemy's starting to pull men away from this front to go to the other. Which is allowing for our men to stream up the wall. One way or another we will get a, a foothold in this castle. And when we do, that's when they lose. Come on men. Get in there. The enemy only has so many men. We've actually got a couple on this wall now. They've pushed open in, they've pushed an opening out. The Lannisters over here need to send more men to protect them. And these guys are not helping their men as much as they should be. Yep. Push through and finish them off, lads. See that small contingent guarding the gate? Doesn't that feel kind of like, uh, like, completely unnecessary when we don't have a battering ram? That's it, men. For how stark! Oh, that man got deleted. His life is gone. Yeah, sorry, you're not reclaiming the wall, sir. There is way too many Starks up there. Now the men guarding the wall are going to have a problem. Alright. I'm sorry, the gate. All their remaining forces over here are getting cut down as we speak. Small contingent that was guarding the gate. will get overwhelmed by Stark infantry soon enough. Our men are just sort of rushing to open the gate here as opposed to killing the opponents. Once they commit to actually fighting, we'll win this. As there's a large force coming from all sides. Gate's open. And the men that were holding it now have no purpose in being here. Aside from being killed and surrounded. Look at this beautiful boy, he's like, look at the savagery, the brutality, what have I done? The black banners, some more Lannister footmen, up on this wall here, that were attempting to make a push through, going for a flanking maneuver on our men. The forces of House Mandalay have turned around to face them. And they are now being outflanked by ours and the Mandalay forces. You can't outflank an army that's literally ten times your size. Sorry to say, but it's just not that effective. All it does is open a second front for them, and if they have the men to compensate, it's not really an issue. Otherwise, we wouldn't have used ladders. If I was overly concerned about losses, we would have used the battering ram and the towers and used up all of our cohesion, but I just didn't want to do that. I was like, one or two guys left, we're going to just fast forward that. There we go. Victory for the north. Two Lannister castles have fallen. The crag is taken. Alright, um, now... I'm going to leave, and I'm going to disband the army. Good work, men! Vote for the new owner of the crag. Sure, we'll give it to Tallheart. Hallis Hornwood got the last castle. He can shut up. Tywin Lannister's army is approaching. He's heading to the crag to besiege. 
We've got to cut off any reinforcements he could get. And then attempt to regather our forces and make for the crag. Right. Infantry. Forwards. Shield wall. Advance in a defensive stance. The spear wall shall push forwards. And if the Lannister cavalry tries to stop us, they will be massacred. Speaking of Lannister cavalry, we should go deal with that. Whoop. Tyrell Banner Knights, huh? You are not Lannister cavalry. Why do you fight for House Lannister? Westerland's Gallant. Gallant is down. Oi. I gotta be careful not to get dismounted here. Infantry! Infantry, form a line and push forwards. Look at the epic, epic march. We have archers on the flanks. Firing out. This guy's horse takes another hit, it's down. Come on. Like that. Enjoy the walk, bro. Oh, you think you're so cool, Mr. Guardian of the Rock? Come here. Face me, coward. Coward of Castle Rock. Hey, bro. How you doing? Woohoo! Man was not ready for that. The House Tyrell Knights are getting slaughtered. Excellent. I think we've successfully scattered the uh, Lannister reinforcements. At least one of their groups. Where is their remaining warrior? Surely it's just one dude like running off the battlefield, right? Oh, it's not. What? Sir, you haven't left the battlefield? What are you doing? Y'all have cavalry still? No? Alright. We've done it. It just took a minute to realize. Excellent. Take more prisoners. Upgrade some more Stark levies. Get some more Stark footmen into soldiers. Upgrade this borrowed troop to a vet. Stark house guards. Give us some more of them. Grab some more loot. Now, we must use up a lot of what we just made in influence to regather our forces. Uh, at least to an extent where we might be able to hold the Lannisters back. Alisane Bracken's going to cost us 46 to pull more men, but she's three days away. Jeez, that's a problem. Alright, so we may not be able to hold the crag with what we currently have. He's going to, bes to besiege Moshe Kalen. Oh, 
Let's deliver a guy here, babe. Sorry about that, guys. Just had a delivery dropped off. Alright, the crag. What does its current defenses look like? So, it's got 44 men. There's no chance of it holding against Tywin Lannister. Oh my, hello. We've lost a lot of men. Not gonna lie. Um, let's increase our steward even further. Efficient campaigner. During village raids, you gain an additional food item for each one you loot. Okay. Troop wages are decreased by 25% while in an army. Discarded armors can be... I actually prefer the efficient campaigner. To be totally honest. Uh, one of these... <clears throat> one of my skills capped out. Yep. Vigor needs to be increased. <clears throat> Alright. I am going to march my way back north to some degree. I wish to collect some extra men before this next engagement and to sell off my loot. I'd say there was some victories there. We crushed a lot of Lannister forces. We're still making a lot of money. In fact, we're making more money than previously. Very nice. The militia of the twins is 427 strong, and the garrison 70. So it's doing okay. Manage the town, have a look at its reserves. Yeah, it needs more money. And we're going to pump money into this town, boost its economy right up. We have a lot of money to spend on it, so that's fine. Alright, let's... Oh yeah, we should have sold some stuff first. Make peace with the Westlands. Our kingdom will receive tribute. Rob Stark doesn't want to make peace with the Westlands. Sure, I'll piss off Rob Stark and make everyone else happy. It's not like he was ever that much of a successful commander anyway. Alright, so thus ends the war with House Lannister. We claimed two castles. I don't think they actually got anything. Let's check on Moat Caelan, actually. Yep, Moat Caelan held. It's only got 94 defenders left, but it held. Uh, Laesa Flint was marching... Uh, was on the way north. Oh, the Westerlands hold Greywater Watch. I wasn't even aware. We should have taken that to secure our land. That's okay. Barrington's held by the Vale. Torrent Square. Now, if we go north to the wall, we're still looking at a similar situation. Excellent. Alright. Trade. Let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. We'll get some more food. They don't need no castly rock braces. What do you mean? My guy's got perfect teeth. Look at him. Don't need no braces. Alrighty. We'll sell all that. Even more money. It's all about the economy, man. Alright. Puddle. We'll head to Puddle and recruit some more men. Excellent name for a for a town. I do I do enjoy travelling to Puddle. Ah, we have I believe clan tiered up. Yep. We can now have 160 men in our party. Very nice. Alright. We're going to get our hundred 
strong infantry, our 30 elite archers, and 30 heavy cavalry, I feel. I don't want to be there. I want to go over here to recruit troops. There's a hideout there for robber knights. Knights that be doing the robbing. Robbing of the White Shore? Alright. White Harbour Squires, Northern Soldiers. Right. What we're going to do is that. And then, I'm going to head as far north as possible. See if we can find a bandit party to get these last recruits done. Because uh, we only have 19 days left. Uh, the easiest way to train them without putting them is too much dangerous. To, it gave you 19 men hoping to take them back once. Well, unfortunately for you, dude, I don't have the 19 men left. They uh, are mostly dead. So that could be a problem. I can give you back about 7 or 8 of them. Sorry, we fought a war. Send troops this time. Get some quick XP. That borrowed troop is just not leveling up, man. Just not leveling up. Alrighty. I think we'll wrap this one up with a tournament, lads. To show our superiority to the Lords of the North. Northern pauldrons. They look kind of sick. I don't know if they're better than what I have, but they look sick. Alright. Come with me, northern noble youth, and we shall prove that we are the better warriors. Ta-da! Better warrior. Her ha ha I'm with that guy. Her ha ha that's how I celebrate my victories. Yeah, buddy? Yeah? Not even close, baby! Oh my god! Listen up, maggots. Popo's about to teach you the pecking order. Goes you, the dirt, the worms inside of the dirt. Popo's stool. Kami. Then Popo. Any questions? Nah, I don't think there'd be too many questions from these guys. Not today. Come on, buddy. Any uh, Dragon Ball of Bridge fans in the subscribers? Would love to hear it in the comments. Big fan of Team Four Star. The work that they have done over the years has been absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen Team Four Star's Dragon Ball Bridge series, you are missing out, man. And even if you're not a big fan of Dragon Ball, this will make you a fan of Dragon Ball. I'm not even kidding. They improved Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I like Dragon Ball Z, but they, they definitely, definitely improved it. Alright, let's get these guys ranked up. Let's get these guys ranked up. Stark levies. Some more house guards. We have 41 Stark house guards now. Quite the deadly unit. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you've watched to the end, thank you so much. Drop a like. Drop a comment if you have anything you want to see and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.